On Sailing Catalpa. We have some amazing times on Thursday Island, some sad goodbyes, and we leave the Torres Strait Islands and start our passage to Gove. We cross the go Gulf and we see this beautiful sunset of our first night out at sea and our first ocean crossing. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. Moving through the water so fast. It's our first night on the Arapura Sea. Here's to a good night of sailing. The Gulf of Carpentaria. We've got about 160 nautical miles. 160 nautical miles to go. We had our first night last night. Um, it was pretty good. Lee and I just took turns at watch. We're pretty tired today, but um, yeah, it's a nice sailing and it's just we got some stowaways from Thursday Island. We got all these flies on board, so it's driving me insane. But um, I'm just chopping up. All our veggies, I'm roasting potatoes and beetroot. We had heaps of beetroot and potatoes because we've got to go through quarantine when we get to Gove because we've been at Thursday Island. So I'm just roasting some potatoes, some beetroot, cooking up our eggs, sweet potato, just using everything that we've got in the fridge. So we just made some chocolate chip cookies while we're sailing along. So I was just eating all of them. Can you please stop? Oh, we're um, going across the Gulf of Carpentaria. Wait for the wind. Right. We're at a full moon. Oh, 
place to April, man. And uh, yeah, second night. dropped out so we're hoping it picks up as the sun goes down. on watch. They do watches together, mostly on long passages, and are harnessed in when in the helm at all times. So we've come 300 nautical miles across the Afura. 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 Afura Sea. The Afura Sea. Gulf. The Gulf of Carpentaria. Oh, that one's called Carpentaria. Yeah. And for days, so like how's the last? We've been sailing for three, three days, days two, two nights. nights. How have you found it, Belly? It's not the worst sea. Obviously, it could get rough, but it's pretty nice and calm. We've had pretty good weather. And, um, yeah, kids have been able to sleep in their bed, and we're about 100 nautical miles further ahead when they wake up in the morning, so that's pretty nice, hey? Yeah. <laughs> All right, enjoy that lunch, you. Don't ask questions like why. This was definitely one of my favourite moments.
nachos. Nacho. Sun's about to go down. It's our last night for this passage. How are you feeling, Captain? Tired. A bit tired. Three days of non-stop sailing. The sun is setting over the Arafura Sea for the last time of us sailing, not the last time ever. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this before everyone else eats it. We're at Bremer Island, just off Gove, Northern Territory. Bremer Island is approximately 10 nautical miles out from Gove. After arriving late, we anchored here for the night as we didn't want to head into Gove Harbour at night time. Bremer Island is beautiful and is indigenous land. We got permission from the traditional owners to be able to go ashore and have a look around. And you can't beat this view from above. that we were just feeding our old Spanish mackerel is about that big. The drone is also good for doing croc watches. But relax guys, we were in really shallow water. This little guy took us all the way into Gove Harbour. Talk to me, Captain. Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, we made it. 350 nautical miles across the ocean. Woo! Ocean crossing. Yeah, we're here. We're just about to come into Gove. Nalamboy. First ocean. We crossed the Gulf of Carpentaria and, uh, successfully. We had really good weather. It started off a little bit windy. Sort of had to do a fair bit of reefing the first night. But, um, it backed off to pretty much we're on the motor now coming in to go. It's only about five, six knots of wind. That's all right. It's good to run the motor now and then. Yeah, we had 95% uh, of the way without the motor, which was the plan. It was good. Very enjoyable. So it's coming into Gove Harbour. I'm going to find somewhere to anchor up. So join us next time as we see some beautiful parts of Gove and learn some Australian history that we weren't taught in school. It all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all